Good evening, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good, and I want to say right from the beginning of this video that I kind of feel obligated to make it. I kind of feel like I should make this video. It's an, it, For me, it's an important video to make. Um, now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining to you people what I'm talking about specifically, so please check out the three or four videos that I'm going to link below. I'm going to link the video I'm replying to directly. I'm going to link a couple other videos related to this. Um, one by Godless Hayes, one by Coughlin, and one by Rosebush, all related to the subject matter in this video. Um, but I do want to say right out of the gate here that I'm going to be responding directly to you, Von Helton. I'm going to post this video um, as a response to the video you made entitled Clearing the Air about the accusations that have been made against you um, here on YouTube um, and all of that. And I'm not sure that you're going to accept it because, once again, I, I don't think you're really going to care much for what I have to say on this matter. Um, but, but I can't help that. I, I, I've got to say this to you because, really, uh, the more you talk about this issue, the more you go on about all of this, Vaughn, the more guilty you appear to everyone watching. And I think it's only fair for me to tell you that. Okay? Uh, long story short, I, I will say this for those of you who are just fucking lazy and don't click links, um, that someone... <clears throat> or a group of people, or one or two people, I don't know who, um, posed as a minor female and offered to send Von Helton nude photographs of herself when she was 13 years old or so. And um, in the chat log that I will post below in Rose Bush's video, he has a nice little screen cap of the chat log. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um... He doesn't really say anything to discourage this minor from sending him nude photographs. Now, Vaughn claims, Vaughn, I'm just going to directly address you from here on in. You claim that you knew all along this person was just fucking with you. You knew it wasn't actually a minor. Um, but then at some other point in the video, you say, oh, well, I just wanted to be sure. You know, I wanted to try to help her out because that's what I do. That's what Von Helton does. Von Helton helps people of all ages, creeds, and colors. I'm a humanitarian. I give a fuck about people, and I want to help them. Um, especially abused minors, right? Now, the, the first thing I want to ask you, Von, is who the fuck do you think you are? Honestly. I mean, what qualifies you? What qualifications do you have? What training do you have? medical or otherwise, psychological or otherwise, that would qualify you to actually help a minor female or male, whatever, a, a, a child in an abusive situation? What qualification, what qualifies you to offer them help in the first place? My guess is that you have zero qualification. You have no qualification at all. And this is just bullshit. This is just you blowing smoke up everyone's ass. Now, I do want to make it clear to you, Vaughn, and to everyone else watching, that you do know me, Vaughn Helton, you do. About as well as we can know someone online, right? You know that I'm not just some troll. I'm known. I make a lot of videos. I make my opinions known. I have an identity here on YouTube. I I'm not just some random fucking troll who fucks with people. You know that about me. You also know that I'm not a member of this, um, this conspiracy, right, Vaughn? I'm not one of these people that have always been out to get you and make you look bad. You know that, right? So, uh, let's just go ahead and set that aside for a moment, right? You know that that's not what I'm doing here. And I'm going to give you a little example as to why I think you were way out of line in the way you handled this. Now, you might be right that there were people out to get you. You might be right that all of the people involved in posing as this minor girl and offering you nude pictures all hated your guts and all wanted to make you look bad. And you even go as far in your video as to say that um, you will claim entrapment. Now, I fucking hate that. Entrapment. Because the word itself implies that you 
personally, Vaughn, had no control over your words or your actions in that particular situation. And I hate to be the guy to break this to you yet again, but that is absolute bullshit. No matter how many people were involved in trying to make you look bad, you made your fucking self look bad. This person who you did not know, if they were just fucking with you, if they actually were a minor, um, you didn't know, offered to send you nude photographs, and you did not protest at all. You didn't say anything that a responsible, concerned adult would have said in that situation. The correct answer to the following question, so do you still want me to send you the nude pictures from when I was 13, is no, you should not be sending pictures to people who you do not know over the internet. Um, I will give you some contact numbers if you're being hurt. Um, people who are trained, organizations that deal with minors, I will, I will help you do some internet research to find the proper people to help you. But please do not send me pictures of yourself online. You do not know me, and that is really an irresponsible and reckless thing for a girl your age to be doing. Even if you know, Vaughn, that these people are just fucking with you, that, oh yeah, sure, here's my email address, was the wrong answer, Vaughn. It was the wrong answer. And I'm going to give you an example. Let's say, Vaughn Helton, that you and I live in the same neighborhood, right? And let's also say that I hate your guts. Um, for whatever reason, it doesn't really matter, I have it out for you and I want to make you look absurd. Well, it would make sense for me, as a person that hates your guts and wants to make you look absurd, it would make sense for me to take every opportunity available to do just that wouldn't it wouldn't it make sense for you if you lived in a neighborhood where you know that there are five to ten people who will do anything to make you look ludicrous wouldn't it make sense for you to be on your best behavior in that neighborhood wouldn't that make sense to you let's say i get together with a few other of our mutual neighbors and you know, other people that don't like you, and we conspire against you, and um, we think, well, you know, in the last six months, our lawnmowers have been disappearing. I don't know where they're going. I don't know who would steal lawnmowers like this, but I have a feeling it's that Von Helton guy. I think that Von Helton guy is stealing our shit. Uh, so we all get together, and we conspire... Right to try to get you, try to coax you in, try to lure you into stealing our fucking lawn equipment. So we all get together and we put the lawn equipment out on our out, out in front of our our yard. Right, we take the nicest pieces of lawn equipment we can find that we own, and we, at, at, all together at the same time we place them out in front of our yards. Later that night, while you think everyone's asleep, you creep out. And you start stealing the fucking lawn equipment. Alright, I've got news for you. That's not entrapment, Vaughn. That's you getting caught. And say someone gets it on videotape. We got Vaughn Helton on videotape stealing our lawn equipment. We might have put this shit out in the yard because, you know, we thought you might come along and steal it. And that if we had that on video, it would make you look bad. That's not entrapment. That's you stealing shit and getting caught red motherfucking handed. That's what that is. Now, it may seem unfair to you, but there is an infallible way. There is a fucking infallible way to not get mixed up in our evil scheme. Don't steal our shit. It's infallible. You can never, you can never get filmed. You can never be caught red handed stealing if you don't steal, Vaughn. Okay? You have control over the way you handle things. You have control over your words and your actions. If people think that you're going to fuck up, that's all the... And you know that there are groups of people, Vaughn, just praying for the day that you fuck up so that they can expose it. 
Why would you intentionally fuck up? There's no excuse for it, Vaughn. There, there really is absolutely 100% no excuse for the behavior that you displayed. It was reckless. It was fucking irresponsible. It was unbelievable. And there's no excuse. There is no clearing the air for you. Because the air all around you smells like shit. And it's your shit. And all you do every time you make one of these fucking sad videos talking about entrapment and how you were somehow forced to do what you did because you had to go up against it. No, you ha what you had to do was be responsible and act like a fucking adult. All right, It's not important who wants to make you look bad. What, what matters is that you made yourself look bad. And all you had to do was go, look, I will point you in the right direction. Here's where you can go for help. But please do not send me nude photographs. Instead, what do you do, Vaughn? What did you say? What did you say? You said, okay, here's my email address. Vaughn, you're guilty. You're fucking guilty. And there's no other way around it. You know, just because people don't like you, and yeah, they tried to expose you, you did nothing but help them with your irresponsible, reckless, fucking behavior and I don't feel a bit sorry for you this is what you deserve grow a fucking brain and start acting like a responsible competent adult if that's what you want people to see you as if that's what you want behave like one because no one will see you as what you want to be seen as with this bullshit story you're trying to pawn off on everyone. No one no one with a brain is buying it. At all. Um, just thought I would run that by you. Um, you know, there is no entrapment here. You made an ass out of yourself. No one did this to you. You did this to you. Take some fucking responsibility for your behavior. And fix it. Fix it. That's all I can say. And I think that about sums it up for the evening. Uh, you guys have a good night. Peace.